guys in this video I'm going to show you guys how I prepare my images for web and also the low resolution photographs together with the watermark and deliver to my client so have a look right here um, the end result should be very simple I've created an action to do this quite seamlessly I just have to play the action and now it resize itself into a 850 uh, pixel photographs across with together with a watermark below right here it says uh, your company name and all so that you can save it and output it to the web and also to your DVDs where you send for proofing and all okay so let me just revert this particular document Okay, for you to record this particular action, you would need a watermark uh, file that you create separately. It is on a different document. So in this particular watermark, I have got my logo and also my text done over here. And the image size is about 850 by 128. Uh, it can be an of any size and how you put it in later on. Okay, so back to this particular image. Now what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to record a new action right here. Let's call it John's Ideal Wedding Blocks and then I'll just call it Landscape because of the orientation. All right. First thing what I'm going to do is this is a high res photograph. I'm going to image resize it to 850 pixels across and that's my blocks width. Okay. Once I've done that, I'll duplicate this particular layer okay I will go in image canvas size and look at this particular anchor right here I want to be putting my watermark below so I'm gonna press this up and I'm gonna resize the height to 670 pixel approximately the height of the um, watermark that I'm gonna place over there see that now just in case that your background over here is not selected black which I want it to be black so I select the background I do a edit fill and I select black over here just to make sure the action works perfectly correct so your next step is to go to file place search the particular watermark that you created the 850 by 100 and over pixel that I've done just now I select it and I'll place it now notice it actually displayed over here hiding behind this particular photo I'm just gonna drag it down so this is good it fits perfectly alright on on my photo okay um, and then I'll just double click it there you go you have a watermark ready so you're gonna stop the action and there you go you have an action just to prepare your watermark for a 850 pixel width okay so let me just revert this particular document okay back to the original form and test out this particular action okay so I'm just gonna play and it works bingo okay so this is the first part of it where you manually do it one by one imagine that I can now open my photos say this particular one and just want these photographs so this is great if you have just maybe like five photos or ten photos to do um, what about if I say you can automate automate this to about 100 photos that you have output and you want to deliver it to your client so let me just close all this photo and launch bridge alright so let me just instead of using film strip how do we display this one Alright, so check this out. This is bridge. 
I've got these photos loaded up to my blog um, and these photos are output from Lightroom they're of high resolutions and I wish to watermark all of them and I'll put it into a smaller resolution file now notice how I was doing just the landscape one earlier you can recreate an action to do for a portrait one so let me just open up a portrait image say this particular photo I have previously created a action to do a portrait one also because of the different height between a landscape and a portrait so it's easy okay so I, I've done this earlier so imagine if you have a hundred files in this particular folder and you have a good mixture of landscape and portrait one thing about bridge is that it allows you to filter this content with this so bridge show me landscape you just gotta click that one bridge show me portrait you just gotta click that one and by doing this what happened is that I can select all this landscape I can go into tools I can go into Photoshop and I'll do an image processor what I'm gonna do is to select the folder that I want to save these files into and I'll call it John test folder alright create choose and then I'll save the image to quality 12 okay and then I'll just put a run action John action set in this case we are interested with the landscape um, orientation of the resize okay and then I'll just do a run Photoshop will open every single image and batch apply the action that we have created and save it to a location that we can retrieve later okay so let me just go into the desktop John test folder and you can see the photos being populated one by one there you go you could be that and once it's done you have all the seven all these one to seventeen photos right here and these are all the landscapes how about if I just choose the portrait select all same thing tool Photoshop image processor same folder this time I run the landscape no portrait yeah there you go where is it the landscape nicely done so this is how you can apply your copyright or your watermark logo on the photographs that you need to output to the web. I hope this particular video improves your workflow and um, we see if I'm able to record any other ones. So take care. That's it. Bye.